The Warriors just lost 117 to 112 at home to the Los Angeles Lakers in game one of this series. The Warriors were down 14 in the fourth quarter, came all the way back, had the ball down three. Steph Curry had it, was double teamed, pass it over to Draymond, pass it over to Jordan Poole, was wide freaking open with like 10, 11 seconds left. No one around him gets the ball like 28 feet from the hoop. Could have taken a dribble, could have stepped closer to the basket, but no, no, Jordan Poole thinks he's Steph Curry, wants the glory, just chucks it like Carlton from Fresh Prince of Bel Air from like 28, not 29 feet away really thinking he was going to be the hero of the night, clanks it, Warriors lose. But that's not really when or why they lost the game. It was impressive that they came all the way back, and it was such a stupid play from Jordan Poole. Not saying he's a stupid person or a stupid player, but wow, what a stupid play. But no, that's not when the Warriors lost this game. They, they lost it where they, they lost the game. They lost it at the free throw line. The uh, Lakers shot 29 free throws, made 25 of them. The Warriors shot six, made five. I'm not complaining about the refs. The Warriors shoot a lot of threes. They're not going to shoot a lot of free throws. That's okay. The Lakers shooting 29 free throws. I'm guessing that's not going to keep, that's not going to persist. I mean, they called a lot of ticky-tack fouls on the Warriors in the first three quarters. Then the game got serious in the fourth quarter, it became playoff basketball, and all of a sudden there was a lot of contact. So I'm thinking the Lakers probably won't live at the line. That's what they won. They scored 25 points at the free throw line in a game they won by five. So, you know, kudos to them for taking it to the Warriors. It was a good strategy. The Warriors were coming off like one day of rest. The Lakers had three, I believe. So they were more rested. They took it right to them. And frankly, they can't shoot with the Warriors. So that's how they have to win. The only way the Lakers win games in this series is if they shoot a ton of free throws. And in this game, they did. But I'm thinking they probably won't shoot as many going forward because it's the playoffs. And usually they let contact go things to feel good about if you're a Warriors fan the Warriors shot 39.6 percent from three that's really really good it's very good while the uh Lakers shot 24 percent if the if the Warriors shoot 39.6 percent from three in this series they're gonna win they'll win in six they'll win in seven they're gonna win the series because they can do that they can shoot 40 percent from three in a series against the Lakers. I don't think the Lakers can shoot 29 free throws a game, although they could prove me wrong. Why can the Warriors shoot 40% from three against the Lakers? Well, Anthony Davis, great player in this game. He went for 30 points, 23 rebounds, five assists. But on defense, he gives it all back because when you put him in a pick and roll, he doesn't even come out and defend anyone. He just stays in the lane. So anytime you give a little dribble handoff pick to... Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, Jordan Poole, it's a wide open shot. It's like a, a practice shot, a, a warm up shot. And I mean, Steph Curry, six of 13 from three, Klay Thompson, six of 16 from three, Jordan Poole, six of 11 from three. They're going to keep shooting really well. Eventually, Andrew Wiggins is going to start hitting from three. He was one of five. So it looks like a, a series where against the Kings, the Warriors had a tough time shooting from three, they had to drive the hoop. This series, drive the hoop's not going to work because Anthony Davis is in there. And he's like, you know, Tim Duncan around the hoop. But he's not going to come out and defend anyone on the perimeter. Those three pointers are open all day and the war Warriors were hitting him. So all they got to do is like defend without fouling and not let the Lakers shoot 29 free throws. I mean, you wonder like, is Kevon Looney going to show up or was that just a fluke against one team? Was it a matchup thing? Is he going to continue to rebound? Well, he had 23 rebounds in this game. 10 points, 23 rebounds, five assists. Just a great, just in 29, he's totally blossoming and becoming a new player. In the past, he'd give you like 20, 20 minutes, maybe seven boards, 23 rebounds. Phenomenal. Draymond Green, they really took, I feel like the refs took him out of the game early. Called a lot of ticky-tack fouls on him. Then he blew up and had a, a technical foul. Finished with seven assists and no turnovers. Still, in a bad game for him, seven assists and no turnovers. Curry, I didn't think, played that well. He seemed like he was sort of, I don't know, exhausted from the previous series or whatever. Uh, three assists, five turnovers. A lot of really careless turnovers from Steph Curry. Seemed like he was so locked in for that game seven. He was like, not for this one. But still, 27 points, six rebounds. Um, 
Yeah, Jordan Poole, man. We got to talk about Jordan Poole. He had a good game statistically, like 21 points, 7 of 15 from the field, 6 of 11 from three, six assists, no turnovers. You look at the at the uh, box score and you're thinking, man, this dude played really well. He does the dumbest stuff. And again, I'm not saying he's a stupid player or a stupid person, but he does dumb stuff routinely. Routinely. And it's like every time you're thinking, man, he's going to be key. They need him on the court. He's going to be great. They can't guard him. He does something dumb. When he just plays within himself and sets his feet and takes open shots, he's good. But he doesn't do that. He, like the, the classic moment early in the game, he had hit like three threes in a row, and he was heating up, and you're like, man, this is going to be his game. And then all of a sudden, he gets his heat check where he gets the ball 30, 35 feet away from the, from the hoop and just chucks it and misses by a ton. And again, it's like Carlton from... Fresh Prince, like, why do you do this? If you just, Steph doesn't do stupid stuff like that, and he's way better than you. If you just played within yourself a little bit, but I think it's too it's too late for that with, with Jordan Poole. If he were going to do that, he was going to do that a couple years and a couple, you know, million dollars ago. He is what he is at this point. He's got to live with it. 29 minutes, 21 points, five personal fouls. I don't know. Five fouls on him, four fouls on Draymond, three on uh, Looney. Three on Wiggins, three on Thompson, three on Curry. That's not going to keep happening. It's the Warriors. It's the playoffs. I'm a little cynical about basketball. I kind of feel like the association wants this series to go seven games. I mean, Lakers, Warriors, Steph, LeBron. I'm guessing this series goes seven. What do you think? It's going to go seven. The free throws will, I'm not saying they're going to even out, but the Lakers aren't going to win every game of this series at the free throw line like they did at this game. And, uh, you know, the, the Warriors lost the game on Jordan Poole missing a three. Didn't they, didn't they lose game one against the Kings of, um, with Andrew Wiggins missing a three? Yeah, they lost at home. And, yeah, they, uh, Anthony Davis went off. LeBron James, though, 22 points on 24 shots. They did pretty good against him. D'Angelo, Austin Reeves, 10 points. Seems like if the Warriors put Klay Thompson on Austin Reeves, he's a non-factor. Vanderbilt did a pretty good job against Curry. I'm curious to see how that goes going forward. Vanderbilt's like, he's tall, he's long. That's the kind of person you want to put on, on Curry to make him work. Um, other than that, though, Schroeder had 19 points off the bench. It doesn't look like the Lakers bench is really going to contribute much. Troy Brown, Rui Hachimura, they didn't do anything in this game. It feels like both teams are about six deep. And, you know, the refs kind of decided this game by giving the Lakers 29. I mean, either the refs or, or the, the Warriors fatigue or whatever you want to call it. But the game was won and lost the free throw line. And I think that's kind of lame in the playoffs. Usually, it's not that fun to have games decided at the free throw line. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm guessing it's going to be eight. Eight games, seven game series, Warriors winning seven. Steph Curry feeling his way out. I guess LeBron James is too, but neither one really had a dominant game. It was the Anthony Davis game and the Jordan Poole game. Jordan, Jordan. What's funny about Jordan Poole is like he thinks everyone thinks he's so dope. You know what I mean? Like he struts around and he like and he like you know he's constantly posturing. Like I feel like everyone is embarrassed by him. Like stop doing stupid stuff. We don't want to say you're a stupid player. Just stop doing stupid stuff for a while. Like, go a quarter without doing something dumb. Please, Jordan, I implore you. 